it decides to come. There we go. That away. I can just get it in here. There we go. Now I can shoot it just like any other film. Well, I the first camera I ever used uh, was like a little disposable uh, film camera my mom bought me when I was a kid to take photos for this school trip. And I just started taking photos of everything. I have adapters for it, so it shoots like a big panoramic face. It just felt like a more fun way to document my life rather than like writing in like a journal or something. What are you shooting on there? Uh, it's a film camera, an old medium format film camera. Oh, okay, that's yeah. Cool. The medium format. Yeah. I did everything myself. <laughs> you know, if you have it, when you develop it, you should send me some pictures. Yeah, yeah, I got you. What's your Instagram? I like shooting just 35 just because it's, I don't know, I just, I don't have a preference really just on like the type of film, but this camera just works the best for me in my workflow and it shoots medium format, so that's usually what I go for. Yep, that was already the end of it. So with this camera, because it's not supposed to be shooting this kind of film, um, it uses it up pretty quickly. Oh, the phone's about to snap too. Yeah, so I can't, I can't use this camera anymore. <laughs> yeah, for now at least. Yeah, see, I can't even wind it back. But uh, that was the end of that roll. It's a quick thing. Sometimes I get lucky and I get, I can get up to 16 shots if I use 36 exposure film in here. But uh, the way it winds, it's a double show camera, so it just, it keeps going. I might have some film in here so I can just use this too as a normal camera. Uh, let's find out. Do I? I do. I think it might be Kodak Gold, so. I haven't been shooting as much film lately just because it's getting a bit expensive and money's kind of tight. But uh, I, I wouldn't trade the experience for anything. I'll, I'll keep buying film as long as it's around. Um, doing my own stuff does lower the cost a little bit because I don't have to pay for a lab or anything. Uh, I do everything at home. Uh, developing film, sending it to a lab, also gets expensive. So uh, yeah, I just try to cut corners wherever I can, really. When the pandemic happened, when it first started, you know, everyone was home, nobody really knew what to do. Um, people just started buying film because it was fun for them, I guess, and it started just blowing up. And it's a shame that prices have gone up so much but it also just shows how popular film is again, which in the long run, I guess is a good thing. That was the last one. Is it one. over? That was the last one. Okay, cool. One.